After months of painstaking restoration, the eastern portal of Sapperton Canal Tunnel in mid Gloucestershire is nearly ready for the official opening. Piercing the Cotswold escarpment, the tunnel carries the Thames and Severn Canal two and a quarter miles underground and ranks among the longest in the country. The restoration of the portal, which was in a sorry state of repair, was the most ambitious project so far undertaken by the Stroudwater Thames and Severn Canal Trust and after 18 months work came the great day of the reopening when canal enthusiasts gathered in their hundreds for a celebration at Coates. The restoration was undertaken with the kind permission and cooperation of the landowner, the Earl Bathurst, and was put in the skilled hands of local stonemason Bruce Russell, for redressing stone and carving stone lintels is far beyond the capabilities of even the most dedicated canal restorer. The Trust had decided that this should be a weekend for all the family and they laid on an old-fashioned fair, organising many of the stalls themselves. Some hats like this were among the many items on sale at a store run by the Droitwich Canals Trust. The music of Sirens Esther Silver Band adds to the enjoyment.
As the time for the official ceremony drew near, the attractions of the fair were temporarily forgotten and every vantage point became crowded. There was an expectant hush as the official party walked down to the portal and assembled below one of the two mysterious recesses in the masonry. The exact purpose of these recesses has long been forgotten, but it is very likely they were intended to hold carved figures, some say, of Father Thames and of Madame Sabrina representing the Seven. The original construction had begun early in 1784 and on July the 19th, 1788, when it was almost finished, George III paid a visit and this led to the section of the canal before the tunnel approach being known as the King's Reach. And now, 189 years later, there's another splendid occasion as Earl Bathurst unveils the commemorative plaque. Earl Bathurst goes on to praise the efforts of the Trust and in particular those of Bruce Russell for a splendid piece of restoration. As a memento of the occasion, the Earl was presented with the first of a limited issue of commemorative horse brasses. With that, the official part of the proceedings was over and the crowd wandered off to lose themselves once more in the gaiety of the fair. But there were two lads who just wouldn't be separated from their boat. They symbolize a generation that can only benefit from further work on the restoration of this canal.